Hey guys, okay, I'm gonna show you three different ways to make animations in Clo. I'm gonna start off with what I'm calling the easiest way, and that's using the turntable. Um, Pro, super easy, anybody's computer can do it. Um, con, you don't really get to see the flow of the fabric. It doesn't really move around, it's just kind of stationary, but it spins and it's kind of cool and it's super easy to do. So here we go, uh, make sure your file is open. Um, one thing I will say though, when you use the turntable, anything you see in the 3D window, you're gonna see in your video. So right now I see the grid on the floor. Sometimes I'll see like internal lines on the garment or baselines or anything. So if you don't wanna see that, make sure you turn that off in the toggle menu. Like right here, it says show the ground grid. So I can get rid of that, you know? Um, and I don't see any internal lines or anything weird, but a lot of times I'll have those on. So. Make sure your 3D window's clean because it's not like in render where render's really good about getting rid of all of that. Um, it's gonna copy whatever's in your 3D. So good to know before starting this. Um, anyways, all you have to do for this, so easy. You just go up to File, Video Capture, Turntable. Okay, a little window popped up. Mine came down in my very bottom corner. I'm not sure where yours is gonna go, but make sure you can find it. Um, and it just has options for you. So you can say, you know, how big do you want this like little image? You know, think about it. Like if you're opening a new document in Microsoft Word or Adobe Illustrator, you get to say if you want like a letter size paper or tabloid or whatever size, it's kind of the same thing. You get to say if you, how big, how tall and wide you want it. Um, it, you can even play with some of this, like how it rotates the direction and whatnot. They have counterclockwise or clockwise. And it looks like even like an angle here. How long do you want this? Defaults at three, fine by me. So I'm not making any changes, but so that means all I have to do is hit this little record button right here. Pretty easy, right? I hover over it, it says record. I just click it with my left mouse, click. Okay. A new window just popped up. Do you guys see that? It says turntable video capture. It, this is, it's on three out of three. Okay, did it. Okay, one last job to do. Yeah, you can preview it here to make sure you're happy, but your job now is to hit the save button. It's not over till you click save, okay? Um, so I click save. Guess what? A new window pops up. Um, you need to name this file. And most importantly of all, you need to remember where you saved it. I have so much trouble with students with that one for some reason. Okay, I guess I'll choose desktop. Um, we can also choose if you want an MP3, MP4 or MOV. It defaulted to MP4. I don't totally know the difference, I'll be honest. I think MP4 is best for PCs. MOV is better for um, Macs. Um, so yeah, I usually use QuickTime, so I think I'm gonna switch mine to MOV. I'm on a Mac, um, but play around with both, both options and see which one you like better. And I'll click save. There we go, saving it. Now all I have to do is go to my folder where it is and see if it works. So I guess I'll do that right now. I'm gonna go to my finder. I saved it on my desktop. And I believe this is it right here maybe. Is this it? I'm gonna double click. Click. Oh, it does not like it. Okay, so let me try that again. Wait, actually, no, that's not it. That's the wrong file. Remember, I called it flower dress turntable. <laughs> there we go, there it is. Good to remember where you save things. See, now I just fell victim to what I warned you about. There it is, beautiful, voila. Okay, so that's the easy way. Option one, didn't take very long. Um, but there's a second way, which I think you'll like, which you also don't need a high powered computer for. And then there's of course the render version, which will take a little bit longer, but might be worth it. So I'll show you those in the next couple of videos.